So. We are live. <laughs> Stop buttoning. You do this in my live streams. You're doing it in my recorded you videos mean, as well. My live streams. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, you You're are the guest. Really, sorry, I'm, You're I'm the sorry, guest. sir. Please don't fire me. That's okay. Really. What's happening, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Combro Stations with Sheps and Eddie. I'm here with the bro with the most below, Sheps Almighty. How you doing, Brozif? I'm doing really good. How you doing, Brozif? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Thank you for asking. Like, you're so sweet. How you doing, Harley? Oh, jeez. I mean, we got Harley here. You guys can see. You guys can see the most important. Yeah. Thing, <laughs> That's really what you're looking for there. I love. I've been, I never noticed this before. I was like, I never you. noticed this. Do you see? Oh, they can't I'll show right a picture there. afterwards, yeah, yeah. but it says, Lucky, Lucky you. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got a dolphin there. Lovely. Dolphin jumping over a rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, we're here today and we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch, a um, brand new, brand new uh, announced console from Nintendo. Yep. Uh, it came out just before their like quarterly investors meeting and stuff like that, which is obvious because they want to tell the mm -hmm. investors and stuff like that. And it's coming out sometime in 2017. We don't quite know a firm date yet. We've got sort of price points. We've got sort of specifications. And we're going to be talking about it here today. Feel yeah. free to leave your comments in the comment section as well. We'll talk about it all together. And um, yeah, if you guys aren't familiar on how conversations work, basically it's a topic that we that is popular at the moment. I come up with all the uh, all the information. I'm, I'm well informed. Read all the reviews and watch all the videos. And Sheps is sort of like brand new to the thing, so you yeah. get sort of like a experienced and brand new sort of take on this. Yeah, system. like I, I really. If I know we're doing a topic, I genuinely avoid information on it. Yeah, it's quite hard like, because it's like, it is quite hard. It's like but, the biggest thing to be announced the thing from is Nintendo. Like, I also quite enjoy being the fresh reaction, and you know, because like, you've had time to think about things. So I might be like, "That is crap," and then you're like, "Oh, but you can do this." Oh, I didn't think about that. That is interesting. Exactly, and that's an interesting conversation. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like that as well. They've yeah. got their opinion. They haven't ever spoke to speak to anyone, yeah. and they'll be able to do it in this format. So, I, so I genuinely don't know what's. Yeah, uh, the one, the, the one the thing, yeah, you watched the video, minute, the yeah, announcement yeah. video, because that had to be done. And, and we didn't want to do that on camera, because that's just that have been stupid, wrong. yeah. Anyway, if, if you guys haven't seen it, it is in the comment section, feel free to watch it, although I'm sure a lot of you guys have watched it. Sure. Um, so, first things first, it's a brand new console, what's uh, codenamed uh, Nintendo NX, it's called Nintendo Switch. No, is, it the, is it the Switch or the... No, it's, it's the switch. The, it's the switch, definitely the switch. Codenamed NX. Yeah, it was codenamed NX. I think NX is probably a better name. I think NX is good. <laughs> right? I, I just like yeah, that. Yeah, the, the, the Nintendo NX, that sounds like. That sounds awesome. You know what? The code names are always better. Like, Scorpio sounds like an amazing that sounds name. sick, doesn't it? Morpheus was fucking great That's for the sick. VR. Yeah. And now it's like. And they have to make it more like public friendly, yeah. like parent I got my PS Morpheus, bro. What? Morpheus, what, fam? Yeah, anyway, um. Yeah, so what was your initial reaction after seeing that video? And then we'll go deep diving into yeah. everything after that. I, uh, I'm not, I'm still not too keen on it looking like a, uh, an Xbox controller mm. on the side. Mm. But the Xbox controller is pretty ergonomic. If you're going to copy a controller, that's the thing. The Xbox controller is a good one to go with. A lot of people have uh, preferences, but it's not yeah. like Xbox controllers sell sure. millions. Yeah. The Elite controller sells so many, yeah. it must be a good controller, like, right? To be honest, at this point, all the controllers are, are pretty good. Um, fine. Like, not a big deal. I just think you, they, Nintendo's got the Wii. And, yeah. And the Wii. I mean, they, they can figure they can, they can do their own thing. But if you're going to copy one, the Xbox One's fine. It's a good controller to go with. And it kind of looks like an Xbox controller that splits apart and goes on an iPad. Yeah. Or iPad Mini. Exactly. Which, But again, like I love my iPad Mini. So if you're going to copy something, a exactly. tablet, Most important copy the iPad. Popular tablet out there. So it's two good things to... Copy. So, I mean, I don't know. I maybe go, maybe go your own way. But there's only so much under the sun. Well, so I see what I see where they went. That's the why thing. they went that way. I feel like a touchscreen device is the thing nowadays. Everyone plays on touchscreen devices, especially when it's going to be mobile and sure. whatnot. When it comes to controllers. We've sort of it's sort of set in stone. Yeah. Not, the next thing to reinvent the wheel is going to be like motion controllers that are like hooked up to your body and your nervous system. Yeah. I think that's the next step. But ultimately, there's only so many places your hands can go. Exactly. So you know, fine, whatever. And cool. also, why risk it when everybody's already so used to controllers yeah. and whatnot? Yeah, You're yeah, risking yeah. killing off your your sure, console yeah. before it starts. Making a bad controller instead of adopting a good one. Yeah. Exactly. What do you think about the fact that it is a console? that can then at any moment you can pick it up and just walk away with it. So I watched the video, I mean literally a couple of minutes ago, right? The stuff on the video is bullshit. There's no way, <laughs> there's no way you're going, oh, I'll go play basketball with my mates. I'll take my NX, uh, my Switch, with my basketball game, and yeah. we'll go play basketball. No, that's not happening. The, the best bit, the, see the thing is, the, it started off so well. It was like, I'm playing in my living room, yeah. Oh, uh, I've got to catch a flight or something like that. That's 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 exactly. the key. 
Pick it up. It's I'm in the cab. I'm like, yeah, I'm enjoying my cab ride. I'll play on my next. I'll play some Zelda. Yeah. I get on the plane. I'm playing some Skyrim. That's great. But the bit that really got me was the bit where the woman was. She was playing in her, her apartment, and then her friends across That's the way so cringe. at her roof party, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, "Hey, come over!" And she's like, "Sure, I'll just bring my Nintendo Switch with me." And then they're like, "They get so, there, and the whole group's like, hey, whoa, stop the party! Yeah, this chick's got an iPad. We the plays." <laughs> The place Mario. So we have all of this alcohol. We have this great food over here. We're going to do drinking games. We could games. socialize. We're going to met. <laughs> no, no. Let's all play on a seven or eight inch screen <laughs> with two tiny little controllers like this. Absolutely. <laughs> that was a. Yeah. I, I guarantee you, she's not getting invited back to any no. parties ever but again. That's and it's going to be very awkward because she, they're right across the way. They can, they're yeah. having a party over there. It's like, why wasn't I invited? Like. <laughs> Yeah, so that's where I think this comes in. Like, if you spend a lot of time traveling, if you're on a plane or um, train or something a lot, yeah. and playing in Skyrim, is that important to you? Or it's just the way you like to spend your time? This is actually a good idea. Mm. I do... I have to commend uh, Nintendo, though. They are always doing something different. And we always say Nintendo's how, where the bar gets pushed. Right? Every time. So anytime you you think of, like, a, a new game and what, you're like, oh, I wish these guys in this game would do something different. Nintendo are always doing something different, and you've got to take your. We just for played that for your. I just played your VR. Yeah, you also tried and, out um, PlayStation VR. And for the there first are two time. major takeaways. The first and most important, obviously, is that they picked Batman to be the superhero <laughs> for the game, which was the clear uh, takeaway Superman from the experience. So what? But how long ago did the Wii come out? So two thousand. It's a while. Long time ago, yeah, long time. Right, ago. the Wii came out ages ago, and you know the sticks. Oh, that's stupid. What's the uh, VR use? Uh, two uh, motion sticks. Yeah. Two motion sticks. <laughs> so, but my point is, Nintendo really genuinely are, are where a lot of this stuff comes from. And yeah. I know when we think of gaming, take away like the, the PC Master Race, you think basically it's a power race. It's an arms race between Xbox and PlayStation as to who can be the most powerful console. That's the basic gist. Yeah. It's not true. Because all the real big gaming changes actually mostly come from Nintendo. The, um, you know, the motion sticks... Pokemon Go, which yeah. apparently is still quite big. I don't know many people. It's still gone playing a little it. bit less now, but they're, it's mainly from the developers. Anyway, yeah, it's all they, all the but, worms. but the point is, they made uh, an old VR um, mobile game. They, they've just, they're just pushing the bar. Yeah, yeah. And I really like Nintendo. They're way ahead plus, of their time, I think. Plus, that's what they, it is. the also thing is. The also thing is. The also thing English. Yeah, yeah. English. <laughs> I can English good. Um, <laughs> is they make games that last, right? Pokemon has been around since we were kids. So long, yeah. 20 years yeah. or more. Um, Zelda, Mario, these they know how to make quality games. They do. They really do. So, so yeah, so Ninten Nintendo is... Hats off to them for pushing Nine the times out of 10, different. if Nintendo say we're doing a thing, yeah. even if you disagree... You can say it's probably going to be successful. Yeah, they've they, got they some know what audience. they're doing. Yeah, it's not that they're morons. Otherwise, Nintendo wouldn't be around now yeah. and whatnot. But that's that's just what I just wanted to mention. That. Sure. There is some. I yeah, mean, they they, like make, the they make some sacrifices because. What's so, the battery life? So that that's another thing as well. So first of all, the price of the console is supposed to be because of from a leaked uh, from a leaked um, leak from a leak from a leak leak. Uh, someone posted... WikiLeaks uh, released recently, is it? <laughs> someone posted this, so to be confirmed sort of price retailer, that was it, a retailer price, price of $399. That's the price it's of the bit, Xbox One when it first came out. It's a bit steep. It is a bit steep. So, For a device that... Now, the idea is that this device isn't supposed to compete with the Xbox yeah. One and PlayStation 4, obviously, because it's a it's, handheld It's device. one of those things, right? Is that, one, it might be one of those things that's worth waiting a year. Um... So if, you, if you're just saying, I have $400 burning a hole in my pocket, and I want to get we something gaming, do. as do. you do, and I want to get something gaming related, what am I getting? I mean, I might get the, the VR. Yeah, I was going to say, $350 will get you PlayStation VR. Which is sick. Which is sick. And that's that a, was so much fun. That's a brand new frontier. It's a brand new thing. It's that the way really it's the cool. future. For those of you guys that haven't played it, But this isn't future. like, using that boat isn't like driving the first car. Yeah, it's not. It's not like that. It's not like oh, what does this switch do? And oh, oh, brakes. How? No, you just turn the engine off and it'll slow down. Like you know, it's pretty refined. It's really good. Yeah. That would probably be what I would do because I don't spend that much time traveling. If if it's that hole that you're trying to fill, that entertainment gap of getting to and from a place, like on the train or um, on a plane or, or whatever you're doing, 
it, it, it feels that. Like, yeah, it that's does, a good place for it to go. It does feel like the ultimate travel companion and whatnot. Yeah. It does. I mean, you're getting like what console what games. The on the no, they haven't released those kinds of information yet. What do we but reckon? It is using, I can't be that much. It's using the same sort of NVIDIA mobile processor that is used in the NVIDIA Shield and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Now, just to give you guys sort of like a specs idea, this is all on Eurogamer and an article. I'll put that in the description as well. Um, it's called an X1 chip, and the way it works is that games that are running on consoles, uh, we're using similar sort of power and whatnot, can get like seven, sorry, 720p and like 60 frames per second or whatnot with some frame rate drops. Yeah. With on this this like advanced hardware and whatnot, and how cool it is and how the way it works, you can get 1080p graphics out of it, 60 fps and whatnot without frame rate drops. So it's actually a good chip. Sure. But it does depend on what type of game you're playing, obviously. When they had Skyrim on there, I'm wondering how ambitious good. they were being with that. So first of all, on the video it looked good, right? But what they could have been showing us was was that thing with a blue screen. They could have. Because I know the stuff, you, if you can do it, they can do it, right? That's the, see, this is so interesting because you've said that. Basically what you're trying to imply is that they could have just put anything on the screen yeah. in CG afterwards, yeah. right? You didn't see this, I hadn't shown it to you, but it popped up on Reddit. Somebody broke down the trailer and they saw one bit where the screen was overlapping one of the actor's arms. Right. So they had superimposed the gameplay onto the device and whatnot. So there you go. So it wasn't a genuine, they were playing it right there but in front of you. My, my issue isn't but the that is, that is That is that's advertisement. That's okay. the thing. That's like advertisement it, works. It, it's not even pre-alpha prototypes. So I get that. Like it, It's okay. But... The power is not a problem for me. It's not, will it be able to play the games? Because Skyrim is is last gen Old tech. six, seven years worse. <laughs> and every six months, chips get half the same, twice as powerful and half as big. Yeah. So I don't have a problem with it being able to process Skyrim, right? Mm -hmm. Or put it in that um, resolution. My issue is the battery life. Yeah. Because batteries are not going anywhere near as quick. Batteries, as, uh, that's the thing, like, what's the computer technology sort of like that, and then battery technology is like, that's the thing, right? So you get, oh, look, this phone is so sick, but it has 25 minutes of battery yeah. life. Because you can just get these things that are pulling so much charge and they're just... So, I don't know. Like, even, it'd be interesting. Even like an iPad, I know from experience, like I use this like all day and whatnot. If I have the screen on, then it's, it dries up, drains up quite a lot. I'll probably maybe get a, a day out of it, maybe less or something like that. But that's the, that's the deal with that. So, yeah. It'd be interesting to see. I hope... I want it to do well. It looks good. It looks cool. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I do like the whole idea of being able to just pick up instantly. That was a really cool bit where it was yeah, like, she just goes, oh, there playing you go. on the screen and suddenly snap, snap, and it's like, boom, I'm out of here. I've got my console experience. That's really cool. Now, how many people pick up their console experience and play on the go is another thing. So you thinking about it right now, bearing in mind I am legit fresh to this, mm -hmm. as in like within the last half an hour, this whole information. It might have been better for Nintendo to just make a new phone that was that was specifically set towards gaming. What you mean like the N gauge? <laughs> that no, went well. <laughs> no, the, no, they didn't do it, okay. but Nick, Nokia did it. It was, oh, okay. it was called the N gauge, and it was basically a phone. It looked like a, uh, a Game Boy Advance, right, basically, right. and it was just it was the funniest thing. It right. flopped like hell. Okay. <laughs> so okay, maybe this was back. Done. No, but this was back in the day yeah. when technology so, was like, terrible. I'm thinking if you're Nintendo and you want to make money and you but you want to still be around gaming, you know that um, some of the Android phones. Are like basically cameras that you can make phone calls yeah. on. They have serious the lenses. best cameras, yeah. and you can put like proper lenses and stuff on it, right? So, why don't if I was N Nintendo, I might be going into a meeting saying, "Let's copy that, but do it for games. We'll put a beast chip in it. We'll make we'll make it smaller, give it a good screen. We'll allow it to accept these two controllers, mm -hmm. and we'll say, look, look, this is the this is the phone for games. And it's instead of like this is a tablet that you can play stuff on." I don't know, I reckon that would... That does seem like a decent thing. That, that does seem, seem like bad, a decent it? idea. But, you know, I mean, the thing is, is that Nintendo are very smart. Nintendo how do you, know what they're doing. How do you maybe know that, that idea came yeah, up. Yeah, I was like, they came up and they were like, actually, they've got all these problems. We're, we're done with yeah, that yeah, one, maybe. Yeah. That could be. But yeah, right now, the way it sits is that the Nintendo uh, Switch is going to be coming out sometime in 2017. $399 is what it looks like it's going to be, although yeah. it's not confirmed. Um, it's going to be, they haven't released the size of the screen, which is stupid because we've seen the fucking thing. You think they should have been like, so this is the size and that's what it is. But we still don't know. It's supposedly supposed to be around about seven to eight inch screen. Touch screen on it. Um, supposed to have an NVIDIA chip inside it. That much has been confirmed. And it looks like it's the next big thing from, from Nintendo. Nintendo. 
they've got a bunch of other games on there that aren't Nintendo branded. So typically Nintendo are like very specific about who, yeah, yeah, yeah. who what they put on their console. You get to play Mario, Pokemon, and, and Zelda on this. Exactly, sort of and, thing, and you yeah. get to, and the uh, Skyrim was on there as well. Now a couple of developers have said that they're not going to be developing developing for it. So Mass Effect uh, and Drama isn't going to be on it. They've already that said sucks. they were like, we are not going to put our game on that. Like as if they really detested it. Um, but there are a ton of the developers that have already said that they're going to uh, going to support it. I can't remember a bunch of them. I think I have them. Here we go. So all of these developers here. I'll put up on the screen cool, for yeah. you. Bethesda, Capcom, all these big names and whatnot. Ubisoft, Square Enix, yeah, Warner Bros. Games. So you can expect some Batman games on there as well. Yeah. Really big Capcom. names and whatnot. So this is good support and whatnot. So this might... It's probably not an issue, but it was last... This current gen was that in PS3 and Xbox 360... One of the reasons the Xbox was sort of the better gaming experience was games were much easier to code for it than the PSC. The PSC had its own proprietary coding thing. It was a bloody nightmare. Yeah. And even the guys that were, that were PSC exclusive titles had an, a real hard time coding for it. The person who, somebody made a really good analogy where it was like, the Xbox is like teaching a bunch of normal school children a whole bunch of like math problems and whatnot, and they're really good at it. Um, they're really bright kids, yeah. but the Xbox, so the PlayStation is like teaching a bunch of autistic, really, really like geniuses, but you have to give each individual one a lot of time and effort, yeah. and then it just takes a lot longer, but they do produce good quality yeah. in the end, yeah. so that was the idea. And coming into this gen, um, Xbox One and PS4, basically the same, basically PS4's the same. a bit easier, They used, that's the one they yeah. went with, but it's not like a console wars comment, it's just, but once it's easier to code for more stuff happens, right? Yeah. And the experience is better overall. Um, I wonder what the coding will be like for this. Because if someone's come out and said, you know, we're not doing, we're not touching this, there's, it's either it's going to be a nightmare to port or code for, mm -hmm. or they're just like, our game needs to be played on on a proper gaming setup and we're not compromising that. So but that seems like a, that seems like a decision that isn't yours to make. Yeah. Because if I want to play Mass Effect on my little, on my mobile phone, then that's what I want to. <laughs> that do. is true, but we are moving. So the the PlayStation Neo is coming out in like 13, 14 days, fifteen days. We're we're nearly there. Um, runs four K content, four K games. Yeah, there are. There's the Xbox Scorpio coming out next year, also four K gaming. Yeah, we're moving into the four K era. Nintendo NX, sorry, Nintendo have just released or going to be releasing a console next year. That is. Probably just just about in the 1080p mark. Maybe that has something to do with it. Not that resolution is everything, but the resolution, resolution isn't everything. Resolution is the the measurement. So it's like if something can handle 1080p, then it must mean that it can handle certain graphical uh, graphical capabilities. So there's another thing on on uh, resolution, right? So my computer's old, 2009. Yeah, can't hack 1080p anymore. It just overheats. But 720 so, is fine. So you can't. You're telling me you're watching all of my videos in 720p? It's true. Shit, boy, I don't, know, I don't know how you survive. <laughs> but but what I've noticed is if you go back from like to 2008 and watch a video, or 2010 or whatever, and watch something in 720p, it looks like crap. Yeah. But if you watch one that's toned down from like, was originally recorded in 1440, it 720 looks, looks really good. Yeah. And it's one of those things, when you set, step something down, it still looks brilliant. So, so 1080p, or only 1080p, I can live with it. Right, it's fine. Plus it's better displays. Like the 1080p is crisper and clearer today yeah. than it was five years ago. But the thing that gets to me is that they're shooting for where consoles already already are. Now again, this is a handheld console, yeah. so you can't load it with like a fucking graphics card from like a GTX 1070 That's or something thing. like if, that. If we compare but, it to what's the current stuff in handheld gaming today? Yeah, the best thing is going to be the PlayStation VR, and the VR is a long time ago, nowhere near exactly. nowhere near the graphical capability of this. Exactly. So that's a good point. And the Vita did quite well, didn't it? The Vita did. Amongst its fans, it did great. But people yeah. who aren't into handheld gaming were like, another, I'm just, I just don't see a problem. That's another thing. The idea f that the, uh, the video was trying to show for the Switch was that this is going to be your on-the-go gaming device. I think it's really going to be an in-the-house gaming device. Yeah. I think this is going to be... You're downstairs playing, playing Mario or whatever, and the missus calls you up to bed because you have to be in bed so that she can go to sleep because that's how relationships work. Pro tip. Yeah, you're, ju you're just going to be in bed. You've been summoned to bed, you have to go. So, you know, you just take it upstairs and you continue playing. That's where I think... Or, or you, you go into the toilet, or you're going to have a bath, or, or whatever. I didn't think about that at all. 
you go to the bathroom, you're just like playing on your TV, you're like, snap, snap, and now I'm on the toilet. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> See, like, seriously, that's where I think this, this really goes. I don't want to play with anybody else's Nintendo Switch now. No, yeah. <laughs> so, like, like I said, this is probably the sort of thing where I hope it does really well, because in a year or two years' time, when it's a more reasonable price, this is a really good addition to everybody's house. If yeah. you game a lot, and I guess need the toilet a lot... Um, and also, there might be some very unique experiences on the Nintendo. Nintendo are famous for doing that. They so do like, do that. They put, like we said, they push the envelope all the time. That's why the Wii was so goddamn, uh, goddamn mean, good because Wii bowling was the fucking shit. We do. This is everybody loves that. Everybody makes fun of the Wii, and people are like, "Oh, well, you can't play Call of Duty on it." And if you've ever tried, by the way, it's horrendous. <laughs> but those games are stupidly fun. Yeah. And yeah. you look at it, you're like, "Oh, that tennis is stupid," or the dance challenge stuff. It's so much fun. It's really it good. is really good fun. So, you know, I I say if you trust a Nintendo to give you a good product, probably a safe place to put your like money. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. We'll have to see how, how it comes out. We will have to see, yeah. Um, so right now, it's scheduled to come out 2017. We have no idea of the actual press. That's a guesswork. As I said, it was leaked from like a, a retailer. We don't know if that's true. That could yeah. be just like a placeholder price. Um so we should be able to get some information pretty soon. I'm sure after they've done their investors meeting, they'll get some more information out there. And um, they did show off a couple of games in that trailer as well. Some games that are going to be playing on the NX. And, sorry, not the NX, the Switch. Again, the NX was a much better name, guys. So it was you, a you really should have stuck with that, right? Game. I was saying, like, like, Scorpio was an amazing name for the Xbox. I'm sure it's going to change. Yeah. Morpheus was great for the PSVR headset. That's changed. Why did you guys do it? You come right. with awesome names. That's that cool. Up. Um... But yeah, that that uh, that trailer was a little bit disingenuous. Yeah, it's not it's just, how it's gonna play out. It's not how it's not how the gaming console or device is gonna be used. And I would have, I mean, look, I know it's early days, but I would have liked to have seen some of the stuff that it's actually playing. You remember when we saw the uh, PS4 release? Yeah. And we didn't even see gameplay. We saw like they dropped loads of balls in. Um, what was that game? Oh the yeah, yeah. It was it was in Knack. It was it in was Knack, in Knack. Yeah, it was in Knack. And to show its capabilities. Yeah, that was not a very fun game, to be honest. I tried to like it. it was, I like Ratchet and Clank. It was fun to some people. And like, I mean, my, my fiance at the time, wife now, she loved that. She was like, oh, it's a little cute game and it shows yeah. how you can play. And she got used to playing games and whatnot. That was fine. Wasn't on our level. Obviously, it's for every, and everybody's own taste. For the record, I like games like Ratchet and Clank. Okay. I actually really enjoyed that, but you didn't that like series. That. I didn't That's like it. Right. But... What I was getting at was that was a cool technical display. You and yeah. me were really interested in that. Yeah, because there were so that, many particles and stuff and didn't flinch at all. It was great. And that's the sort of thing I would prefer to see. I know most people want to see, like, oh, look, it's Mario. But no, let's see what it can actually do. Yeah. Um, and I just, I, I wonder if it's going to be able to hack new release type games. Because I, I see, unless Blu-ray gives away something better, like Ultraviolet Super Mega Ray, yeah. We're gonna start getting towards like multiple disc games again, and honestly, I think the next the next step is gonna be streaming games. Yeah, I mean, we really stream exactly. video. That's what I think next game is streaming, but it is a it is a lot about third party support as well. Yeah. I mean, we've seen the the partners that are being supported because right the cloud now. has been used so much with the Xbox One. Exactly right. <laughs> so I mean, it's gonna be about third party support. That's what essentially. I mean, it didn't kill, but. It didn't exactly help the uh, the X sorry the Wii U I'm yeah. unfortunately, just because it did it was very picky about who was putting games on it and stuff like that and then it pushed developers away, but that again is where the game is going to be lost or won where the console is going to be lost or won. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's all the information we have on it and that's our our impressions on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Uh, feel free to let us know in the comment section what you guys yeah, feel about. Let us know like seriously. I'm going to go through the comments. I want to know who who would really pay. Three hundred, call it four hundred dollars for a, a, a gaming device. Let's say it plays Skyrim. Let's say it plays like in the video. Is four hundred dollars the right price point for you to take this on the train to work or whatever mm -hmm. and play, or are you more like to get a PSVR? Because um, I actually want to know. I think that's the thing. Because you can for three hundred fifty dollars, you can get a PlayStation Neo if you wanted to, the, the yeah. PlayStation Pro. Uh, and then if, if you wanted to have games on the go, you might have like an iPad, iPhone, or Android phone, whatever whatever phone you have, which have tons of games on them now. Or if you're an old school guy like me, I'd, I'd be happy to buy like a Game Boy or something like yeah, that to play yeah. back in the day. Or if you want to um, 
what's the Nintendo uh, Nintendo DS. DS and what not like 3DS or something yeah. like that. The possibilities are endless. Except you're only if you buy the NX, sorry the uh, the Switch. I feel like and you're set- so much. Better. It's so much. Let's better. just call it the NX. Let's just call it the NX, right? So if you buy if you buy the Nintendo NX, you're do, having a great console on the go, but I feel like you're sacrificing a little bit when you're at home, yeah. which is predominantly where you play video games. Well, that's where we play video yeah. games anyway. Yeah, yeah. But that's just what we think. Let us know in the comment section. We're going to be going through the comments. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll hear some interesting yeah. stuff down yeah. there. I definitely, I, seriously, I do want to leave a comment because I want to know if, if this is something you're going to spend money on, and I want to know if 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 mobile gaming is more important to you guys than 3D, uh, not 3D, uh, VR. VR, yeah. Because VR is like, it's either VR or mobile. That's the way this thing's headed. I want to know. If you, if you mean, you likelihood you've already got a PlayStation 4 because they sold so many of yeah. them. Well, nearly everybody does have one. You could spend that money on a PlayStation VR, get a completely new, unique experience. I mean, I know I'm about to sell a kidney and get, uh, <laughs> and get some uh, beast thing, get a Vive, because... That was really good fun. That, I VR, remember, that VR, seriously. You should have seen him. He's one of the guys that was like, it looks really cool, but it doesn't look like it's worth yeah. the big price I don't think it's worth 350 Right? And then he puts it on, and he's like, whoa! <laughs> I, was, I was proper like that. Yeah. I wasn't like, I wasn't exaggerating. I was like, oh! <laughs> it reminded me of those, you know there's those memes where like when somebody drops like a, a harsh burn on somebody yeah. and they're like, oh! yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Absolutely. I was, I was really impressed with that. I touched like, Alfred's face. Yeah. And I touched the curtains. <laughs> I was so like, oh shit! Oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's all the information and talking we've got to do today about the Nintendo NX because that's its new name. Um, sorry, it's, it's old, old name, name back again. Yes. Current name. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this conversations. We're going to be doing another one hopefully pretty soon when something awesome happens. Yeah. I think we might do one about the PlayStation VR since you're so excited about it. I that really. Cool. That was cool. Because I need to do a review of it and that'd be cool if yeah. we do it together yeah. and whatnot. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave your comments in the comment section about the what you guys think about the Nintendo yep. NX. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Now you got a piece of Eddie inside you. Hey, you kind of actually, you're the owner of the show. I'm so, the owner. So it's technically owner, your line. Owner, creator, writer, just, director. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm the all of the ers. You're the all of the ers. We're just going to do a roll at the end and it's just going to be like, <laughs> just chefs, 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 chefs. <laughs> <laughs> you got to put that in. you got to put that in. It's going to be in the... Do it, do it. <laughs>